everyone, Dr. Shaw here. I'm one of the prenatal chiropractors in St. Charles, Illinois uh, at White Oak Family Wellness and I'm going to talk to you today about Webster Technique. Webster Technique is the primary treatment used in pregnant women. So if a chiropractor chooses to um, specialize in prenatal care, then they will most, most likely be certified in this technique. Um, so to start off, usually we'll have a patient standing and we'll check the hip height. So you're just placing your hand at the highest part of the hip and checking side to side which one's higher. Um, the whole treatment is finding a pattern and then adjusting based on that. Then we have our lovely model laying down. She's on a belly pillow. This is what we use in our office. Um, it's got a round cutout like this so that the patient can lay their belly in here and lay on their stomach comfortably. Um, next, what we would do is feel or palpate the muscles in the low back right along the spine, and we're trying to see which side is tighter than the other. So for her, I will just take two thumbs and run them along and feel for tight spots. So for her, it's all on the right, and the next thing we'll do is feel for rotation in the, the vertebrae in the low back. Um, the way we do that is, if you can see here, there's little bony prominence that stick out right, right in the center. And what we're doing is feeling for that and feeling where it is side, side to side. So let me just take a quick look at that here. And again, for her, they're a little bit more towards the right. So next, what we'll do is palpate the piriformis muscle, which is a muscle kind of deep under the glutes. And then I'll start on this side, and one side will usually be a little bit more tender. Definitely tight on this side, and they think a little tender. And then we'll check on this side. Tight, but not as tight as the other side. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is palpate the sacro tuberous ligament. So just to give you an idea, the ligament comes off of this bony prominence in your pelvis, and it attaches up into the sacrum, which is the lowest part of your spine. So if you can imagine, if it's running from here to here and it's tight, it's pulling the sacrum in that direction. So you're, that's what we're trying to correct. So I've already palpated on her and it's on her right as well. And that is the most important finding. So once we find that, if, if the pattern doesn't make sense, as long as we know which side that ligament is tight, that's what we're going after for correction. Um, so when we correct, what we'll do is, the table has a drop piece that comes up and when we thrust, it comes down and it creates a very quick, efficient, thrust but it's still gentle and as far as the thrust um, I'll palpate down her spine and find sort of the middle of that sacrum area and I will take a hand like this and what we'll do is just apply a thrust downward and that's again going to drop that table and, and that's how we correct that sacrum and there will be three light thrusts that usually go with that. Um, the, the other thing that I like to check usually is um, the tightness in the front of the hips. So what I'll have her do is raise this leg straight up for me and then the other side. And then we see a big difference there. So obviously on her left side, there's a little bit of a restriction. So what I'll do is take a roll like this and I'll put it under her thigh. And then again, we prop up that drop table and then we thrust down. And then I'll have her raise this leg up again Good. And then the other side. Perfect. So we see that it helps even it out, which is exactly what we want. Um, lastly, what I'll usually do is have patient turn and I'll work on the round ligaments. The, there are the ligaments that you'll feel kind of in the front and sometimes women get pain in those ligaments. Um, usually with a sudden sit to stand move or a turn, you'll get kind of a sharp pain in your lower abdomen on either side. And so we'll just take a little massage lotion and work out those ligaments and kind of help them relax. 
I also usually like to do, before adjusting, some soft tissue work in the low and low back and mid back, just to help relax um, the tight muscles in that area. If something else is going on, treatment might be different. We will always do an exam first and find out what's going on with you, and then base all of your treatment off of that. Webster technique is really specific for any kind of low back pain. Um, we're working on the biomechanics of the pelvis, especially specific to a pregnant woman, and we're optimizing fetal positioning. So that's the main reason that Webster Technique would be used. Um, so if you have any questions, go ahead and let us know, and thanks for watching.